Hi, it's Susan Short with FBTV, and we have got a special show for you today with Mike and Bassiani. <laughs> been playing guitar for how many years? Uh, going on 17 years now. Wow. And because I've been playing for, well, I've been playing since I was five. Actually, more than, yeah, more than 17 years because I'm, I'm 27 now. So I've been playing 17 years professionally. Wow. So long you time. You played professionally when you were five and six? <laughs> <laughs> right. But um, so started playing guitar when I was five and professionally since I was 11. Wow, so how does one play professionally when they're 11? Well, because I started... Were you getting paid? Do you mean Yeah, you my first you? paying gig was when I was 11, yeah. Wow, because was that at school or was no, it... No, so I was homeschooled my whole life. Okay. And um, because I started when I was five, I started playing at, in Gilchrist Park in Punta Gorda. They have a bunch of guys that sit around in a circle, play okay. music. And, and I started there when I was about seven, eight. And then as I started cutting my teeth on music then, when I was 11, they had a festival in Punta Gorda, the Hibiscus Festival. That was my first gig. And then from that, I got my first paying gig, which was a $25 gig to play at a church picnic. <laughs> <laughs> and from there, a couple years later, I started my band, Mike and Bassiani and his Blues Rockers. Uh, I played solo, and I had my band when I was 16. I just switched over to everything just to my band. And, and I've that's been going the since. Mike and Bassiani and the Blues Rockers? Yeah. Great. So that's been around for a while, and you are really a hard-working artist. You are playing all the time. Congratulations on that. Thank so you. tell me about the band. So are they the same people? Do you use different musicians? I've, I've had uh, the same guys in my band for a little while now. Over the years, you know, they've changed. Some people move away. Some people, uh, when I started out, were very a lot older musicians because right. I was so young, always surrounded by older musicians. And um, so unfortunately, some of them have... Uh, past in the in the years that I've been playing, but wow. I've been uh, lucky to be around a lot of great musicians, and I have a good team of guys that we work with now. That's fantastic. So, I want to dig a little deeper into how you got involved in music. Are you from a musical family? Is it something that you just listened to and you were inspired by something? What was it? A well, combination of factors? Kind of. My, my dad always listened to the music growing up in college, whether it's Cream or Jimi Hendrix or anything like that. And then I was homeschooled my whole life. And so I kind of grew up listening to all that music anyway. And then I wanted to originally play the drums. And my mom said, no, that's not a real instrument. <laughs> <laughs> I could play either piano or guitar. So I started with guitar. And then it kind of got the ball rolling. And because I was homeschooled, I really was able to focus on subjects that I liked, so I, I really got into history. So as I was learning material from Eric Clapton or, or other artists, I kind of would go, who did they like? And I'd go back and listen, and eventually that led to the blues music from the 40s, 20s, 30s, and that kind of really put all the puzzle pieces together on who gets influenced by what. And the music community is very small when you look at it like that, because everybody's influenced by each other all the absolutely, time. Absolutely, absolutely. So are you going to play us a tune? Sure, I'll play a song. For, so, this is from the Blues Rockers, This is right? the Blues Rockers show. So the Blues Rockers show is a variety of music, blues, classic rock, folk, rockabilly, all sorts of stuff. And um, this song, I love playing this song, because I like finding more either obscure or lesser known songs from certain artists. But this song was written by uh, a gentleman that I got to play with. He's pa he passed away a couple years ago, but he was a fantastic uh, songwriter, singer, saxophone player from Fort Myers named Burnell Caldwell. So he has this cool song called Too Many Cars in the Driveway. Okay. I get up at dawn every single day. Gotta go to work so I can make my pay. The boss goes home at noon. Everybody says the boss goes home too soon. I got myself a stomach ache right around 2 p.m. Little did I know, I just didn't know, it's when my blues was about to begin. Cause there was too, too, too many cars parked in my driveway. Park in the grass, ran up my 
stairs real fast. Before I could put my key in my door, you know what I saw? I saw my boss and my girlfriend rolling around on the floor. I hopped back in my car and I drove to the other side of town. I got real drunk, real drunk. I had to turn my car around. Cause there was two, two, too many cars parked in my driveway. Figured I'd have that sucker towed away. Reached in my back pocket, I found a card. The card said AAA. Now I had to find myself a payphone. So I drove to the other side of town. I got real drunk, got real drunk. I had to turn my car around. I bought myself a shotgun. I didn't need no triple A. <laughs> there you go. Wow, what a great day we've had with Mike and Bastiani and the Blues Rockers and Simply Clapton. It's Susan Short, FBTV. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. We'll see you next time.